The stage is set for the COMELEC's presidential debate happening on Saturday here at the Sofitel Harbor Garden Tent in Pasay City. The COMELEC on Friday gave the media a walkthrough of the debate venue. Before the debate proper, candidates can make last-minute preparations in one of these cubicles inside the tent. At 7 p.m., the event begins. The COMELEC prepared a pool of 20 questions, although not all of them are expected to be asked. Issues in the COVID-19 pandemic and the economy will take the spotlight on Saturday night. These are the two biggest things on the minds of everyone right now. No? Of course, uh, you're looking at, uh, at a continuing problem in the pandemic and the economy is a good frame with which to discuss the pandemic because of its effect uh, on the economy. No? Hindi lang health issue kasi ang pandemia kundi economic rate. Candidates cannot bring notes on stage, but will be given a pen and paper in case they want to take down notes. There will be draw-ups to determine who will answer the first question. Veteran broadcast journalist Luci Cruz Valdez will moderate the first debate. She will be seated on this platform facing the candidates. Nine of ten presidential aspirants have confirmed their attendance. Only Ferdinand Marcus Jr. is snobbing the debates. His campaign will hold a rally with his supporters on the day of the debate. There's still no written refusal from Marcus Jr. His absence will definitely not go unnoticed. An empty podium will remain on stage to remind viewers of the candidate who skipped the highly anticipated event. But what if he attends? We'll see what happens when he, if he shows up tomorrow. Okay? But as of right now, we have no information that he will. The COMELEC invites the public to watch the debate. Hindi ko inaayahan natin manood ng debate. No? Uh, Ang dami nating uh, uh, paglalabasan nitong debate na ito. And uh, hopefully, maka, makakuha sila ng information from the candidates that they have not yet seen. No? Yung mga plataforma, halimbawa, yung mga, yung mga plano para sa darating na administrasyon uh, pagkatapos ng halalan. Sana makita nila. Magkaroon sila ng preview doon sa dadalhing uh, uh, resulta ng ating mga kandidato. Debates are not mandatory. In fact, no law authorizes the COMELEC to compel aspirants to attend one. But election watchdogs agree, failure to attend debates like this will reflect poorly on the candidates and will say a lot about their capability to defend their platforms to the voting public. Dwight De Leon, Rappler, Pasay City.